Hi guys! Are you looking to expand your civilian coverage but worry about the limitation of distance? Today we receive a case from one of our customers, and here's what happened. Our customer wants to set up a civilian system in his farm, and he has two IP cameras located approximately 7 feet away from the PoE switch. He wants to power both cameras using only one CAT6 Ethernet cable, but he's not sure what he needs on the switch side and the camera side to make it work. So today in this video, we are going to demonstrate how to use a 4-port long-range PoE switch for long-distance power and data transmission. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. So the Ethernet distance limit is primarily influenced by signal degradation and attenuation, which occurs as the signal travels along the copper cable over 100 meters. Now, the simplest solution for our customer is actually to pull a new Ethernet cable and use two PoE extenders for each link. However, he cannot pull a new cable in his case, so we have to use the existing CAT6 Ethernet cable for the whole setup. And also, if we are using two PoE extender, the whole setup will be too complicated. That's why now we decide to use a 4-port long-range PoE switch for the whole setup. And now let's move on to the demonstration board, and I'll show you more in details. As you can see, today we are going to connect to two IP cameras at the edge. Just like our customer's case, he's adding two IP cameras in his farm and using a single CAT6 Ethernet cable. That's why we're using this 250 meters, that's about 800 feet CAT6 Ethernet cable in between with this 4-port long-range PoE switch. Now, this switch has PoE power extender feature to break the maximum PoE distance for IP cameras requiring a continuous Ethernet run of 800 feet without any devices in between. Now, it can help you deal with issue of Ethernet to meet long distance deployment with easy plug and play feature. So there's no complicated configuration that needed. And in order to achieve the 250 meters, that's about 800 feet, you need to adjust the port to 10 megabit per second data transfer rate. But no worries, that is more than enough for a full HD 1080p IP cameras and mid-stable video stream. But keep in mind, only port number 1 and 2 can achieve the long-range PoE. On port 3 and 4 are ordinary PoE port that can support 100 meter PoE connectivity with 100 megabit per second data transfer rate. So without saying, now I'm going to do the connection together. And as you can see, we have this PoE splitter on this side and at the edge. And let's do the connection and I'll explain the details along the way. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the NVR. The NVR is already connected to the monitor to display video footage after we connect it to the IP cameras. Using another short patch cord to provide data for our long-range PoE switch. And over here, we have a PoE splitter. So why do we need to add the splitter? Remember, our customer can only pull a single CAT6 Ethernet cable. So he cannot pull a new one for the IP cameras. So that's why we need a splitter here to connect to two Ethernet cable to two PoE port. And this CAT6 Ethernet cable will use up all four twisted pairs to send the, the signals along the way. So now I'm going to use the Ethernet cable here to connect to the splitter first. Remember, only port 1 and 2 can achieve long range. Let's plug it in here. The other one, port number 2, to the splitter. This is the 250 meters Ethernet cable 
Let's connect everything together. As you can see, there's nothing else in between, only a single Ethernet cable. So when we come to the edge, we'll need the splitter as well to separate the signals. And using two short patch cord to connect to the IP cameras. One, two, to this one. And as you can see, the indicated lights are getting on. They're both getting power and data at the same time with a single CAT6 Ethernet cable. So it's just take a little bit time to zoom in. And I will wave my hand to show you this is a live video, the first one and the second one. So the whole connection is done. So when you set up a PoE connection, make sure you choose a pure copper cable like the Cat5e or Cat6. Just like a customer's choice, Cat6 is great because pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials. So you can provide stable PoE connectivity. And also this long range PoE port actually can support up to 500 meter with remain 100 megabit per second than the transfer weight with a PoE extender. And also it's available in eight ports. And if you're interested, here's a video on how to use the eight port long range PoE switch. And thank you very much for watching us.